Hello everyone, my name is Shashank Shekhar, Master Teacher of Mathematics at Vedantu. We are presenting solution for J.E. 2019, paper 1. So in this video, here I have taken the question of, a simple question of matrix I would say. Let's have a look at the problem. It says let uh, capital M is a 3 cross 3 matrix, elements are given here. You can uh, see there are two unknown uh, elements here A and B at joint M however is completely known to us so by seeing the uh, using the value of at joint M we can easily find the values of A and B right it further says a, uh, where A and B are real numbers which of the following options is are correct means more than one option may be correct so if you look at the options, it is very much clear that we need to find first A and B, obviously. Option C, like uh, it is required to find determinant of adjoint of M square, so we need to find determinant of M also. And few basic properties of operations of matrix is also required. Let's see, how can we solve it in an easy manner? So, or in order to get uh, value of A and B, oh yeah, what, what is adjoint M? Adjoint M is transpose of matrix of cofactors. But uh, if you find the cofactors of diagonal elements, it is placed at the same position. So, we'll find the cofactors of 0 and 2 here in order to get finally the values of A and B. So, cofactor of 0 would be minus 1, cofactor of 2 would be minus 6. S clear? So, we can write cofactor of, uh, yeah, 0 is what? 2 minus 3b and it should be equated with minus 1. Cofactors, uh, cofactor of, so from here you can easily see that value of b is uh, 1, right? Cofactor of 2, this term, would be what 0 minus 3a and it should be equated with minus 6 so the value of sorry value of a is value of a is obviously yeah 2 so from here we can write m as 0 1 2 1 2 3 3 1 1 and determinant of m would be then opening with the first uh, row you can see 0 minus 1 into 1 minus 9 plus 2 into 1 minus 6 and that is coming out to be uh, 8 minus okay it was uh, like 2 1 minus 6 uh, yeah. 8 uh, minus 10 that is minus 2 isn't it so determinant of m is minus 2 uh, going back and uh, coming to the options a was 2 and B was 1 so option A is correct right now we will check option C first then B then D okay option C determinant of adjoint of M square is equal to 81 determinant of adjoint of M square can I write it as determinant of M square power 2 because we know that ad determinant of adjoint is equal to square of determinant. Determinant of adjoint A is equal to uh, square of determinant of A if the order of A is 3 cross 3. So here it was m square. So I have taken m square. Now determinant of m square, co I can write determinant m square in whole square that is minus 2 raised to the power 4 that is 16 
but in the option it was 81 so option C is not going to be the correct option yeah it is not correct or coming to option B adjoint M whole inverse plus adjoint of M inverse now um, adjoint M whole inverse however is same as adjoint of M inverse using the basic uh, I mean property of adjoint or an inverse we can easily see that both the terms are same so it is basically twice of adjoint of M inverse so again option B for option B yeah uh, option for option A A plus B was 3 option A is correct option for option B twice of adjoint of M inverse and yeah what is uh, adjoint of M inverse can we write determinant of M inverse into inverse of M inverse that is M yeah and determinant of N M inverse co we can write 1 upon determinant M determinant M was minus 2 so finally we will get minus M this has minus m and in option also it is given minus m so this option is also correct for option d we need to go for a little calculation see option a was 2 b was 1 so yeah it was like option uh, option d was like m into alpha beta gamma this is given as I think yeah 1 2 3 1 2 3 then alpha minus beta plus gamma is equal to 3 we need to check that and uh, a is 2 b is 1 1 2 3 right so um, I mean we'll have to go through the basic calculation in order to get the values of alpha of beta gamma here so if you uh, take first row <coughs> right very first element so it is beta plus 2 gamma must be 1 then second row second element second row second column uh, second row first column then it is alpha plus 2 beta plus 3 gamma must be 2 and then the third element 3 alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 3 if you solve them then you will find the values of alpha beta gamma as uh, it comes as 1 minus 1 you can check it and 1 so what was asked was uh, alpha minus beta plus gamma that is coming out to be 3 in option also um, yeah alpha 1 beta minus 1 and gamma 1 okay um, beta minus 1 gamma okay 3 minus 1 2 so one, three. yeah all uh, relations are satisfying with these values and uh, although we will have to find it by basic linear uh, arrangements and uh, solving this linear equations 3 unknown 3 equation we can find it easily so finally option D yeah is also correct so I hope you understood it it was a basic calculation for uh, op to track the option D A, B, D are finally correct options I hope you understood it yeah so you can go through the type solution also thank you stay tuned for the next question